Hi, my name is Andreas Röskart and I'll be talking to you today about creating new cultural stories with AI. Um, before I start, just a bit about myself. I'm a programmer and interaction designer and digital artist um, doing a lot of artwork with machine learning and code. I also do public speaking, I teach a lot of workshops and I do freelance work with creative technologies, machine learning and code. Um, I'm going to show some uh, former projects of mine. This one is called Doodle Tunes, where I use AI to translate drawings of musical instruments into actual music. Um, I've also worked quite a lot with uh, face technologies and in this project uh, called Eye Conductor, I translate uh, where people look uh, on a screen into music enabling people who cannot play traditional instruments to play music. And then I also do a lot of silly stuff. <laughs> For instance, in this example, I control a game with very, very silly sounds. I teach the system how to recognize silly sounds. I've also made an online bookstore called Booked by AI, which sells science fiction novels that are generated by AI. Um, and you can actually buy these books. So if you don't like books that are written by real authors, you can try out my books. Okay, but today I'm going to talk mainly about two projects related to this topic, Ogors uh, Glass Platter Remixed and Enter the Art. These are two uh, projects I have made. Um, and Oglox Plus Player is a collection of high resolution uh, photographies. And at a hackathon, I trained a StyleGAN model to generate new images. So I trained one that could generate new uh, people in the same style. Um, you see some of them up here. And once the model is trained, it can, infinite, it can generate an infinite number of uh, people of images. And all of the images, they have um, biographies, the original images, and then I used a text generating model called GPT-2 to generate new biographies of the people that I generated. So people that don't exist will have new uh, biographies. So I want to kind of imagine how the lives of these people might have been. So this is one example. Um, where the text algorithm simply writes uh, a biography about uh, a person. So I'm, I'm dreaming about how they, their lives could have been. Then the second project is called Enter the Art. And this was a project I did in collaboration with uh, SMK, where the idea is that you uh, as a person can put yourself inside an art piece. Um, I use technology that can identify where a person is at uh, in a regular image and then you place that image uh, you, or yourself on top of a well-known art piece. Um, and then I do a bit of uh, uh, masking. So you need to figure out where you place the person and then um, make a bigger mask and then uh, AI technology can seamlessly put the two together as though you were in the original picture to begin with. Like so. And I've made a lot of uh, silly small experiments. Uh, so this is one of the scans mailer and I placed uh, a little kid once uh, at one spot and the prime minister of Denmark in another spot. Um, and yeah, here you see me and the head of SMK and a random dude from the internet all placed uh, in the same image. I've actually also done it for some uh, PR work uh, for an upcoming book. Um, I have out, which deals with creative uses of technologies um, written together with Mass Corsecore. So yeah, that was my presentation. This was very fast. Feel free to reach out um, if you're interested in uh, this intersection between data, art and technology.